okay so this is the program uh, we know we wrote okay uh, to print exchange rates for dollar and uh, rupee okay so let me just give you more information about uh, different parts of this program and um, wrap it up with a lot more uh, information on this okay so it's a very very simple uh, program okay but we managed to introduce a lot of concepts okay one is uh, variables okay variable de variables and uh, declaration and variable definition okay and then we introduced a uh, while loop okay and we used conditional expressions okay and we used arithmetic expressions okay and we introduced how to print variables onto the screen okay okay so so let me just give you a brief idea of what each of these things is okay so a variable is nothing but uh, a way to store values okay for example in the uh, previous program we just printed uh, numeric constants like 1 and 42.3 to 84.6 okay something uh, you know we have the output right so this is what we printed okay last time these are all numeric constants we printed okay but now uh, instead of printing numeric constant we have used variables like dollar and uh, rupee to print exactly the same things okay so for example uh, what we have done like this uh, you know, statement in C is that we have told the compiler that rupee dollar upper underscore dollar are all variables of type integer what this type integer means that it holds you can hold uh, values you know of uh, on 16 bits in them okay so instead of actually printing one you can print you can put one into rupee and print rupee as a variable okay and this is how you declare variable you can actually declare variables in uh, different ways this is just one of them okay and so what are the other ways of declaring variables so we could actually uh, declare one variable every line okay like this thing dollar this compiler won't uh, complain okay so int for dollar okay and this is and this is another way of every variable and every line so for example let's say we have 20 variables to declare okay so we will have 20 lines of this sort okay or we can declare all variables in a single line by by separating them by commas okay like this C compiler just won't complain. Okay, there's no you know good way or bad way to do it. These are all correct ways to do it. Okay, so but how? Okay, but the way I do it is very simple. Okay, it always makes sense uh, to declare variables which are which are similar in a line and declare the next set of variables in different line. For example, okay, this is what I've done. Okay. See, as you see, right, uh, rupee, dollar, um, and upper dollar, these are all things which denote the currency. And exchange rate and step, these are something more, uh, they are something more constant. For example, exchange rate is varies every day, but uh, it's constant in terms of you know, when we take into the program. And step is like when we would want to, you know, uh, step it from either 1 to 2 or 2 to 4, something like that. Okay. So these two are similar, so we put it in a line. And those three are similar one other way, so we put that to another line, okay? Just personal preference, okay? It, it helps to follow some sort of convention, okay? And similarly, okay, we can, uh, you know, so this is how, how we declare variables. And once we declare variables, we need to initialize them. So these are the initialization steps, initialize variables, okay? So we can also initialize them uh, in various ways. For example, when we declare a variable, we can do we can initialization initialization of variables can be done at the same place. For example, we can say t equal to zero and uh, dollar equal to one and a dollar equal to five. Okay. So C1 compile it will have exactly the same effect as uh, you know these three lines would have had. Okay. But uh, I would always prefer to you know, keep the declaration and definition uh, different for now okay we'll go over ways in which we can uh, do both of it in the same place when it is required okay but now let's uh, keep it very different okay and another topic i would want to touch upon uh, is this how should you know how, how will you name a variable okay 
for example, if you name this rupee dollar and upper dollar, okay. If you go to name this with same variable, just R, okay, and D, okay, and um, it's like this, okay, and you just keep, you know, uh, you just do it that way, okay, everywhere in the program. Compiler won't complain, okay, but um, the only problem is when you go to read your own program the next day, it's very difficult for you to actually comprehend the program. So what we do is that, uh, so we're going to keep meaningful names for variables. It always helps to keep very meaningful names to variables, okay? Uh, and also keep it short. We don't want to have uh, a really long, big uh, variables, okay? At the same time, we should um, make sure that we should, you know, uh, what's it, block our temptations of uh, naming variables very short and simple, okay? For example, naming an R and a D is much more simpler than actually naming and using the rupee and a dollar, right? So let's just block that and let's just change it back. Okay. It's more readable, okay? For example, for, for, for what it was now before, and for at least now, a program is much more readable when you have uh, variables which have actual meaning okay so another thing so do we actually want really big variables like this one okay like this okay um would be used you know, in a exchange table do you want such a big variable you know uh, this one dollar used um, just imagine, you know, we can't just manage with such big names, right? So let's just have simple variables which can convey meaning and as well keep it small, okay? So this is what I want to Okay, the other thing I wanted to talk is indentation, okay? For example, you see while, right? Uh, you see this is the while loop, okay? And uh, while starts here, okay? While starts at uh, this and uh, all the rest of the statements start you know, at a tab space away from while. This is called indentation. Okay. The way the reason why we need uh, to indentation is to make sure that the program is much more readable. Just imagine all these things are in a single line. Okay, like this. I can't read it. I don't. I don't know if you can read it or not. It will be very difficult for anybody to read it. I also you know adding appropriate uh, spaces. Okay. And uh, proper indentation is very important for a program, okay? Okay, adding lines for the program and, and possibly, right, uh, adding a very good uh, a very good uh, comment inside a program is extremely helpful in understanding and uh, reading a program, okay? So, I just wanted to touch upon this and, um, and help you understand, you know, not only the syntax of the program and also the different styles in which you could make your programs much much better okay so uh, this is what i want to tell you okay so next time we would want to do some some different programs or write this program in a very different way okay so i'm done with this